A big blow to Obamacare. A major health insurer is pulling out of the Affordable Care Act exchanges. Eyewitness News continues now at 5.30. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Brewer. Yuki is off tonight. I'm Jessica Dean. Aetna says it will stop offering policies on individual exchanges in nearly a dozen states where it operates. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff tells us this will impact tens of thousands of customers in Pennsylvania. For healthcare giant Aetna, their customers within the Affordable Care Act exchange have proved too ill and expensive. Thus, Aetna's chairman and CEO, Mark T. Bertolini, said that 2017 individual exchange coverage will be cut in 11 of 15 states, including Pennsylvania, where it serves around 31,000 customers. Bertolini cites pre-tax losses of more than $430 million since January 2014 adding in part, as a strong supporter of public exchanges as a means to meet the needs of the uninsured, we regret having to make this decision. Aetna's decision follows similar scale backs by United Healthcare and Humana, along with nearly 40 competitors. There's a mixture of economics and political theater going on. David Frankfurt is a Rutgers Law and professor and specializes in health care policy. None of the major carriers have pulled completely out of the exchanges. Because if they pull completely out of the exchanges, they're barred then from being in the exchanges for five years. He feels this indicates a strategic plan to push for looser requirements placed on marketplace providers while still banking on Obamacare success. Because in 2018, a number of healthier people who were allowed to keep their old policies are no longer going to be able to keep them, and they're going to flood into the markets. But until then, some customers, especially in rural areas, will have to make do with fewer and potentially costlier options. Customers will not see a gap in coverage, but will have to sign up for a new plan once open enrollment begins in November. Aetna's Obamacare members in Delaware will not be affected. Reporting in Bluebell, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News.